Hello, my name is Danny. Welcome to Drive Green. Today we'll be having a look around this white Nissan Leaf Tecna. It's a 24 kilowatt version. It has done 45,963 miles on the clock. It's a late 2013 plate. The next MOT is in November 2023 and we'll just put it through a fresh service. So the next one will be in April 2023 as well. Nothing to worry about for quite a little while though. Let's get up and close and personal and see if there's anything noteworthy to mention. Please do feel free to pause the video at any stage if you feel like I'm going a little bit too quick for you. Driver's side front alloy looking all right. That was a little mix that we're just doing around there. Right. On the whole though, not looking too bad whatsoever. These alloys have had a spray job on them. So they have been coated off in black. I feel like it adds a certain quirky nature to the rest of the vehicle. Uh, it's not little docks, they are just the local wildlife in Somerset. They're attracting some attention already. Driver's side rear alloy. Come around to the rear of the vehicle. Now, 24 kilowatt version of the Nissan Leaf will give you a real world range of roughly 70 miles to play with. So, kind of a low range EV, but this one's got plenty of practicality with the Nissan Leaf. Plenty of boot space and back seat rear space. The Techno variant as well on it means that it is packed full of spec. You've got leather seats all the way throughout, heated seats in the front, heated seats in the rear, heated steering wheel as well, for good measure. All of these things actually run from the 12 volt itself, so they won't actually drain from the high voltage battery. So it makes it sound like you're gonna lose a lot of stuff in the winter months. But actually, if you're heating yourself up through the heated seats and the heated steering wheel, you're not gonna lose any range whatsoever. Passenger side rear alloy, a few little marks as we kind of zoom in and stuff. On the whole though, you only notice it if you're really zooming in. The whole of the bodywork is all looking in fantastic shape and order, as you can clearly see on the outside. It's just the aftermarket aesthetic work that's had done to it on the wheels and the badges. That is of noteworthy difference. Other things you get from the Techno variant as well is you have the 360 camera, as well as your reversing camera. So you have that bird's eye view when you're looking down and around at it. Which makes this actually a really nice, easy vehicle to park. All right, as we come down to it, with a little bit of the little scuff that's just down through there. The tiniest little cosmetics. Maybe a little stone chip here or there that you can just see there. That's a little tiny little stone chip. On the other hole though, not looking too shabby whatsoever. Classic bug eyed nuss look. Just behind the Nissan Leaf sign that you can just see there, Nissan sign. That will be your Type 1 as well as your Chadamo for your fast and your rapid charge. So this one is definitely still capable of doing any longer distance trips with a bit of prior planning and warning. And there we have it, the rest of the vehicle. So not looking too shabby whatsoever. Let's have a look on the inside. Comfort access button as long as you have the keys on the proximity on your person. You your bag or your pocket, the, key, the car will lock and unlock. Nice spacious cabin area, the Techno variant is noticed first of all. You have these beautiful leather seats, a little bit of cracking that you can see just from the usual wear and tear for a vehicle of this age, as to be expected. All the seats are heated as previously stated. Hopefully you're able to see. of storage and stuff like that. Drive neutral reverse stick that's just in there. A couple of cup holders, your heated seat buttons, climate control system, and then coming up, you have your DAB radio, the sat nav, and all the bits and the bobs that are just through there. Nice reasonable driving position that you have in the Nissan Leaf. Heated steering wheel, as I previously said as well. There's just a little bit of wear just around the steering wheel. It's very minor. All right, as you kind of away from it, you can barely really notice it still either. So on the whole, not looking too shabby whatsoever. Nice, spacious, premium feel to the vehicle. Making those trips to A and B all that much better. A nice Bose sound system and stuff as well. Back seats once again, you can just see the little bit of a wear in the sign of the leather. On the whole though, not looking too bad whatsoever, especially for the age of the vehicle. 
It does a nice low mileage and stuff as well, so it does add that to that. So, so not looking too shabby whatsoever. Let's have a look in the boot space where the practicality does speak for itself. Nice big, big boot cell. Easy to fit in a couple of large size suitcases in there. A few tiniest little signs of life of just little bits of nicks and scratches, usual wear and tear marks, and just luggage getting in and out and stuff like that. Nice aspect to have is the Bose sound system. That'll really, really keep your head bobbing up and down on those longer distance trips. We provide with the vehicle your 13 amp three pin leads for your home chop. Oh, excuse me, home charging needs. It'll plug straight into your vehicle, type one, and then it's four or five meters long, and it goes to the three pin for your 13 amp three pin sockets. Exactly how you'll charge up your phone, but this time you'll just be charging up your vehicle and your car. And that's completely free with the vehicle. We've also got uh, the optional extra cable known as a public charging lead. They usually resell about 180, 190. We're able to get them in at a reduced rate and pass that saving along to our customers. So we're able to chuck that in with the purchase of a car for 100 pounds. And it'll be a type one to type two, and it's perfectly suited for any home installation box if you have one or you're planning on getting one installed. And as the name would suggest, public charging when you're out and about, if you provide your own cable, then you'll be able to get some free charge when you're out and about, maybe at a place of supermarket or uh, a place of work. Uh, so if you'd like to find out a bit more information about the Nissan Leaf, this one in particular, get yourself booked in for a test drive. Our number 01761 233 558. We're more than happy to answer any and all of your questions and hopefully get you booked in and out and about in this particular one. If you'd like to find out a bit more information about the Nissan Leaf in general, head over to our YouTube page, simply type in Nissan Leaf and Drive Green. A nice, lovely, detailed review will come on up from Richard, our founder and owner. We'll tell you all the good and the bad reasons for why this might be the right vehicle for you. My name's been Danny. I hope this video has been important for your buying selection today and I look forward to hearing from you all very, very soon. All the best and goodbye.